Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. I'm going to show you what we're working on today. We are storing more beans and more rice, ultimately. Uh, I know you guys might get sick of this, but this is what is a good plan. Uh, that's bad English, poor English. This is a good plan and what you might need to do. Yes, my hair's a mess. Um, spin you around, show you what we're working on. We are dry storing a lot of our beans and rice. These are some that we had frozen, we pulled them out. Uh, um, these are quart jars, regular mouth jars. We've already added our bay leaves to them and we're going to uh, vacuum seal these guys and it's just something we're doing. I have about 50 or 60 regular mouth mason jars. I don't care to use them when I'm canning, uh, pressure canning or, or water bath canning, just because they're too small. And I use uh, wide mouth jars for that kind of stuff. So I have found a use for this. I actually traded a lot of them uh, off uh, to a friend and uh, she likes using them, I don't. So she gave me a bunch of uh, wide mouth quart jars and I gave her, I think she gave me 30 wide mouth quart jars and I gave her 60 uh, regular. I just don't care for them. I can't put my hand in them when I'm packing or, or, or pulling out pickles. That's the way it is. So again, I'm gonna show you this and uh, this is just a wash rinse, repeat, but more cow. There we go. Got eight quarts. Vacuum sealed them. Dry beans. Eight quarts is 12 pounds of beans. So you can do the math and figure it out. Um, so there we go and now we're going to put them on the shelf i'm going to store as many as i have in the quart jars now um it's just a better way and i can't get these guys well, i can but it's just it's just problematic so i'm going to change every one of these over to small mouth quart jars uh, until I run out of all the small mouth quart jars that I have. So, more to come. I didn't know if any of you guys had ever seen an old Atlas mason jar. I collect them, uh, just the old mason jars. And uh, these are really cool. Uh, this one's probably 40, 50 years old. And uh, a lot of these are Golden Harvest. Um, Kerr. Uh, these aren't the ones I would really use for heavy duty pressure canning. But this one, it would do really well. You see, it's kind of got the uh, uh, the textured bottom. I mean, these are jars that stand. Um, they're not cheap either. And I bought at a yard sale about like three or four hundred of them at one time not just these but just a big old mismatch and uh so just throw it in there. okay guys that's it that's what we got so far remember take care of your people and two out of three ain't bad